In the wake of two major hurricanes in the Upper Texas Coast within the past 10 years, the Gulf Coast Community Protection and Recovery District was established to help our communities rebuild, recover, and seek federal reimbursement following future storm events. The Gulf Coast Community Protection and Recovery District, or GCCPRD, is comprised of six counties, including Brazoria, Chambers, Galveston, Harris, Jefferson, and Orange. With a population of more than five million people, our region plays a major role in the nation's economic vitality. This region hosts America's largest concentration of energy, petrochemical, and refining industries, and it is home to critical assets such as NASA, seven major ports, and one of the most significant estuary systems in the nation. The purpose of our study is to develop a plan to reduce our region's vulnerability to storm surge and flooding caused by future storms. The GCCPRD is now moving forward with a study referred to as the Storm Surge Suppression Study. This technical, scientific-based effort will investigate opportunities to alleviate damage from future storm events like Hurricane Ike. In late 2013, the Texas General Land Office awarded the GCCPRD a $3.9 million Federal Community Development Block Grant. Since then, the GCCPRD has been collecting and analyzing existing data and collaborating with other organizations and universities conducting similar work. The Storm Surge Suppression Study is being conducted by a team of engineers, environmental scientists, economists, and community outreach specialists who are working together to identify a series of alternatives to meet the needs of our region. Alternatives may be comprised of a variety of natural, structural, and non-structural methods, including proven technologies and measures used throughout the world. Before we begin to develop these alternatives, we need your help by providing us with your personal experiences, ideas, comments, and feedback, the study team will be better equipped to assemble a series of alternatives that will meet your needs. Once we receive your input, the study team will begin to assemble a list of alternatives, or ideas, that may better protect the six county region. These alternatives will be investigated and modeled using technologies shared by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and FEMA among others. Throughout this process, the study team will be working collaboratively with federal agencies, local and state government, as well as academia to use available regional data and be as efficient as possible with study funding. Once various alternatives are identified, the study team will host a second series of public meetings in the spring of 2016 to obtain your feedback about the study findings. Following incorporation of public comments, the GCCPRD will recommend a cost-effective and efficient system of flood damage reduction and surge suppression measures in summer of 2016. The team would like to stress that this is a conceptual planning study. When the GCCPRD identifies a viable system of flood damage reduction and surge suppression measures, extensive additional investigation and design will be necessary. This study will lay the foundation necessary to develop a detailed design and obtain the funding necessary to implement a future six-county-wide storm surge suppression system. The storm surge suppression study effort presents a unique opportunity for the GCCPRD to assume a leadership role and to work collaboratively with our cooperative partners to develop a plan that meets the storm surge suppression needs of the region and the nation. As our valued community member, you will be informed and included every step of the way. We look forward to working with you.